Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now today's video is going to be a brief little follow-up video to my cloning hard drive tutorial video that I did about two years ago. And in today's video I want to highlight and address an issue that I've been seeing a lot of people having in the comments section of that video where if you clone a smaller hard drive over to one that is greater in size, the computer will still see the hard drive as the same amount. So for example, if you had a 500 gigabyte hard drive and you clone it over to a one terabyte hard drive, when you boot off of that one terabyte drive, your computer is still showing that drive at 500 gigabytes. And the reason for this is, is because the uh, cloning program only clones the partition over to the new drive. So it takes that 500 gigabyte partition and it moves it over to the new drive. So initially the computer will still see that one terabyte drive as a 500 gigabyte one. And what you have to do to take advantage of the full capacity of the drive is actually expand the partition. And this is something that I have uh, told a lot of people how to do in comments on that video where I would actually reply and kind of tell people what they needed to do. But I just decided to make a dedicated video so that all of you guys will be aware how this is actually done. So when you're logged into your computer, the first thing that you want to do is press Windows key R and it's going to come up with the run prompt right here. What you want to do is type in diskmgmt.msc. I'm going to be uh, detailing two different ways of how you, that you can actually do this because this first method might not work for some of you guys. and I'm going to be explaining why once I actually show you how this method works. So once you have this typed in, click on OK and it's going to load up the disk management right here. So when you load up disk management, this is what you're going to be presented with right here. And this blue section over here is going to be your cloned partition. So going back to the 500 gigabyte drive example, you know, if you had cloned a 500 gig drive over to a one terabyte drive, this blue section right here would only be 500 gigabytes, while this black section would be the other 500 gigs to make up the one terabyte. Now, I only have a 40 gig hard drive in this virtual machine right now, and I've purposely shrunk the volume back to 30 gigs so that you can kind of see the same effect going on here. So if you only had one partition, all you have to do to expand this to take up the full amount of your hard drive is right click on this blue partition right here and go to extend volume. It's going to come up with the extend volume wizard, click on next, and in this box right here you want to put in the amount of space in megabytes that you want to expand this volume by. So in this example I've got about 10 gigabytes of space that I can expand this drive. So if I click on next here, it will actually go ahead and it will expand this drive to take up the full 40 gigs of space. So now when I go into my computer, which is probably what uh, you guys have been doing when you first noticed that it was only uh, you know, 500 gigs as opposed to one terabyte or whatever situation that you're in. Now you can see that I've got a full 40 gigs, even though Windows says 39.9, it is a 40 gig drive. And you can see we have all of that free space here. Now this method may not work for you guys. And let me uh, go ahead and shrink the volume back down to explain why. So if you had a drive, uh, like that 500 gig drive, for example, and it had multiple partitions on it. So it had like your main C drive, and then maybe it also had like uh, a system partition or a system reserve partition or something like that that also got cloned over to the new drive. In that case, this method is not going to work for you because unless this unallocated space is directly to the right of the partition that you want to expand it will not allow you to expand it so if there was another partition say one of those system reserve partitions right in between this C drive or this uh, C partition and the unallocated space when I would right click here this extend volume would be totally grayed out and I could not click on it and if that is your case, I'm going to be showing you another method of how to get around that and still take uh, up the full amount of space on your new drive. What you want to do for this is actually download a third party piece of software called EaseUS Partition Master. Now EaseUS does offer a paid version of this program, but the free version is all that we need. It's going to do exactly what we want to do, and it's going to do it very well. This is a program that I have personally used on my main computer before because I had the same exact issue. So go to the EaseUS uh, Partition Master website. I'll have the link down below and click on the free download right here. Go through that whole installation process. I'm sure you guys know how to do that. Once you download that, uh, we'll just go ahead and close out of disk management here. Once you download that, uh, just double click on the icon on your desktop or wherever that you have it saved to, to load up the Partition Master wizard. 
for some reason the game bar is showing up here um, and it's going to start with an ad for the $40 premium version, but again, we're not going to need it. And here we have a similar looking screen. I mean, it's still somewhat similar to disk management. And we have a list of all of our different partitions here. All you have to do is click on your C drive partition or whatever partition that you want to expand to take up the full amount of space on the drive. And then you want to click on this resize slash move button over here. When you do that, you're going to uh, be presented with this gr uh, graphical interface, which shows you the amount of space that you can take up on your drive. And all you have to do is just take this slider right here and drag it out like this. And now you will see that this uh, size here will grow to take up the full 40 gigs in size. Then all you have to do is click on OK. And then you want to click this uh, execute one operation button up here and then click on apply. Once you do that, it's actually going to go ahead and resize the partition now. You may have to reboot your computer to actually have this work because, and I've had to actually do, uh, do this before, where the machine will actually have to restart and upon the next boot up actually perform that uh, resizing operation. Sometimes it can't do it while it's booted into Windows. In this case, it could probably because there was no extra partitions like I was saying before. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, click on finish right here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just uh, click out the X for the rating and uh, close out of the full program there. And now when I go into my computer, we're going to see the same effect that the drive has been fully expanded to that 40 gigs in size. So that is essentially how that you actually expand your hard drive partition. I hope that this uh, video helped you guys out. I know that there were a lot of people um, having trouble with this in that comment section. It's something that I didn't highlight in that uh, original video, but I just wanted to make a separate video here just to show you guys who don't know how to do it, how to actually take up the full amount of space on your drive so you don't feel like something is wrong with it because it's definitely not. It's just this is what happens when you um, clone a, a hard drive of a lesser size to one of a greater size. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to get subscribed down below and turn on notifications if you haven't already so you get notified whenever I upload new videos on this channel, which I do every single week. And as always, I just want to thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.